name is Anna Francis Goss and I'm a food blogger and recipe tester. I started a website called Heirloom Kitchen and I've gone around the country cooking with immigrant grandmothers to save those family recipes that are in their heads but never written down. I am collecting all these recipes and they'll be out in a cookbook next year. I would definitely say that my love of cooking comes from my family. Everything was always homemade, everything was fresh. It's how my mother was raised. The recipe I'm making today is lasagna bolognese, a recipe that's very close to my heart, a recipe that I learned from my mother many years ago. You're going to start with your brodo di mamma, which is Italian red sauce. Now, it's time to make your bechamel. To make the bechamel sauce, First, you're gonna start by warming three cups of organic milk. Because the key ingredient in the bechamel is milk, I always make sure to choose organic. By putting it on the stove top on very low heat, you can keep an eye on it. Don't want your milk to boil, then you have to start over. Just wait until you see tiny little bubbles form on the top. Now your milk is ready. Set it aside, it's now time to make your roux. You're gonna melt four tablespoons of butter in a pot. Once it's completely melted, you're going to whisk in a quarter cup of flour. Whisk constantly to create a paste. This paste should be light brown in color and it's what the French call a roux. Once you see that paste form, it's time to add your warm milk. First, add a little bit. It'll bubble up and it'll begin to create an even thicker white paste. Once that happens, slowly but surely, add the rest of the warm organic milk in you will start to see a thick white sauce form. Keep whisking to make sure that none of it sticks to the bottom. Once it's thick, give it a taste. Make sure it's not too bland. If it is, add a pinch of salt. Then, fold in a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Now your bechamel is ready and ready to add to your bolognese sauce. So now that your sauce is ready for your lasagna bolognese, it's time to compose your dish. I have three kids. They range in age from 11 to five. They love eating my food. This lasagna is on pretty regular rotation in my house and it can even be found sometimes in their lunch thermos. Get a lovely lasagna pan ready. You're gonna put some sauce on the bottom and then put three lasagna sheets on top of it. If you're feeling incredibly ambitious, you could make your lasagna sheets from scratch. If you don't have time, just pick up some nice, fresh lasagna sheets from your local store. Then, sprinkle more Parmesan cheese because there's never too much cheese in an Italian lasagna. Get it in the oven, covered with foil, for 35 to 45 minutes. You can, for the last five minutes of cooking, remove the foil and crank up the broiler to get that golden brown delicious crust on top. Because this is such a hearty dish, I love rounding out the meal with a fresh green salad. Mmm.